How do you use ChatGPT and U.com, these AI services, to teach and to do a better job in university? If you don't know me, I am Professor Dave Massack. I'm an associate professor of innovation, and I created the Soul Reciprocity Project to give back as much as I possibly can. But I want you to actually lean into it. Really use these tools to push the boundary of what everybody can do. This is a moment, and I've been using it now I use this it's very much part of my life to use these different AI services I use these things to extend what I am doing and that's what you should be doing in terms of the classroom right now we have limited abilities and the way that I think of it I have uh, ADHD I found out much later on in life and I really struggle with writing when I write I have a really great idea for a split second and then I try to assemble the pieces together and I forget how those things all work together right my working memory is not that great and it's very difficult for me to put things together and I've really struggled with that but now what I do is I put these things together in terms of inter intermittent thoughts and I, I allow the AI to help me out to leverage what I am thinking about to present it in a much better way. So for those of us that have learning disabilities, I've always struggled. I was in, in special ed until I was in grade five. For all of these people that have these sort of things, this is the most wonderful tool I've ever seen in my entire life. In fact, that's what I'm trying to build into the reciprocity project now is like different features to help us be able to do things like this. But what I would love for you to do and to think about is to leverage this as an opportunity to push the boundary of what human capability can actually do. We're a long ways away. We're probably 10, 20 years away by the time that general intelligence becomes so much more sophisticated that everybody can, or machines will sort of do things. But it's uh, where machines will be able to sort of do things at the, this is the first moment. I didn't think that this was possible, but it's very much possible. How do we handle this? We can't hide from it. It's not going to disappear. And if we hide from it, we have to think about the competitive uh, dynamics of it, right? Countries, regions are gonna wanna hide from this. And what's gonna happen is other countries are going to leverage it and jump on it. And they're gonna get um, advancements that nobody else can have. And it's gonna be spectacular. But what I would love for you to do is interact push it, actually do things that are stretching the boundaries of human abilities and machine abilities. And when you combine those things, it becomes something that's quite spectacular. Machines are not necessarily good right now at being able to see the bigger picture and being able to see where things can actually go. They'll get there, right? But we're still a long ways from that. And so what I would love for you to think about is how do I merge this together in terms of what I'm doing? And the other thing to think about, right? Machines are just accelerated um, human beings, right? To a really large extent. And they operate in the same sort of way. The algorithms that are behind it are sort of mimicking organisms learn and stuff. What I want you to think about is to think about how you can interact and become more closer to manage it. Use it in all the possible ways whenever you have a frustration, sort of think about how can I leverage a particular thing to do better, to, to do something that's interesting, to explore and to have fun. You might not necessarily be the most empathetic person. You're really mean and nasty and you like to write nasty emails and stuff like that, which yes, we all get like that. Well, then use that machine to say, hey, can you write this in a better tone? Can you help me out with this? You might not necessarily, for teaching, for example, you might be thinking about how can I actually teach with this? And you normally have somebody, the students write a 10 page article. Get them to write that 10 page article using ChatGPT and U.com and all these different artificial intelligence tools. Then get them to also do things that are really cool and creative on top of it. Get them to actually build a software 
that sort of leverages what they're writing about. Get them to um, some really cool art that goes along with it. We get them to push it. And then instead of like a 10 page document, get them to write a PhD thesis. Really push that envelope, go farther and farther and farther such that we can uh, do spectacular things. And we could do that. Or if we think about what we could do today, it's just a simple extension of what, um, you know, the sort of technological progress has been going on for many, many years. And yes, there's going to be massive shifts, right? In terms of what we can do and in, in, in the sort of different jobs and things like that that are going on. But if we adapt, we think about how to actually process this, how do we push this, jump on it, and really interact with it, then we will be at an advantage at this moment in time. Now, can I say that for 30, 40 years? This is a really interesting sort of uh, confluence of things happening, but it's not something that we can stop, right? It's not something that we can say, hey, I'm gonna pull out of this game. We need to really push in it and get going. Really um, turn things into something magical. All of the different assignments and all of the different things that you're working on, man, just go nuts with it. Push those boundaries. Look to see where the machine breaks. Can you look for tools, look for ways to do the Turing test, which is a test that can people actually tell which one's human, which one's not. And today we can't, right? But there's, there's certain things that you can. Get them to write the paper. You normally have, I have business papers, right? They're boring, but then say, hey, do this business paper in a Shakespearean sonnet, right? Like change it up, make them do creative things, push the boundaries, collect new original data. Just you, it, you do all of those wonderful, amazing things that we do, but just do it at a much grander scale and turn that into something that is remarkable. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.